Hello everyone and welcome back to another installment of The Viral Podcast. I'm your host Chelsea Lynn. And I'm your host Paige Jen. How you doing? I'm great honeys. I'm doing wonderful. Um, I guess the question would be how's Maggie doing? I'm doing good. Well you want to just let's just get into it tell everybody what happened maggie just had surgery you've been real quiet about this on on social media yeah i haven't said anything um yeah i had my gallbladder taken out a week ago golly gallbladder golly (laughs) golly that you had her gallbladder removed i got four slits in my stomach Mm -hmm. how big the size of your finger yeah, no, just I mean, little... I could probably put my finger in them if they were open. Yeah. Ugh. What? <laughs> Ugh. So that's a big slit. Yeah. 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 We love slits around here. So that's great. I'm you full got... of slits right now. Yeah. You are full of slits. So I woke up one morning in severe pain. And when you have a gallbladder attack, you feel like you're dying. Literally. What does it feel like for people that don't that? Because, you know, what does it feel like? It's the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. And it's like right in your chest sternum below your uh breastbone okay and you it the pain's so bad you can't breathe you you can't talk you can't think you just lay in a fetal position i was laying in like a fetal position screaming oh yeah and you've you've done this before we were in oklahoma and you but we didn't know what it was at the time right um and you went to a doctor and then even tina was like you you I think you have like gallbladder issues, gallbladder stones or need to get removed or something. Yeah. Dude, and, Tina's a damn doctor. Yeah. Yeah. And so then, it was it was like a couple months of of pain, pure hell. So yeah, I figured out what it was. Um I actually before I had the surgery, I had an appointment the next week to meet with a surgeon to schedule a surgery. Yeah. Um nope, your body said psych, didn't bitch. didn't make it. We're doing it now. <laughs> so Matt, Beth rushed you to the ER and yeah. You got some slits in your... So were you passing a uh, stone? So the surgeon actually said that a stone was stuck in one of those tubes. Didn't he, Beth? He said a stone was stuck. It's all kind of blurry to me. You're a stone fucker. Yeah. You're you're a stone fucker. (laughs) So I had a a little stone stuck in one of those tubes, and he said he got them all out. Wow. So they... Yeah, you said they get stuck, and that can become, like, fatal, right? Yeah. If they get malt stucky. Damn, if you would have fucking died over a stone oh my i would have been gosh. pissed as hell i know <laughs> i would have been mad as fuck we, i know i would put stones on your casket or i don't even know stop <laughs> like well, what would you do great that you're feeling better you're back in action and you're ready to malt leaky baby malt leaky you're- so wait more questions though are they gonna come back no the gallbladder's gone oh there, so she can't produce stones in there at all that motherfucker's gone bounced no more stones for me. So you won't have any more problems at all, like with not your... with that. Okay. If I did, it would be something else. Yeah. It's not a part of the um, shitting, the constipation. No, but they did say without the gallbladder, um, I would probably have diarrhea a lot more. Oh shit! Because uh, because it's yeah. like a less filter. <laughs> For the the food and stuff. So the shrimps will be singing without shrimps. And I have noticed. Gliding. Whenever I eat, I have to immediately go to the bathroom. (sighs) Malt sleepy. But it's not, it hasn't been bad. It's been nice. Malt sleepy, baby. (laughs) So. (laughs) That shit's sleeping. It's been nice. Just shit and water. (laughs) It's not water, though. I mean, it's it's regular. Wow. I just go easier, I guess. That's good for you. I know. Perfect. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you won't be in pain anymore. That's great. And I'm glad that you figured it out. Exactly. Because we didn't know what it was for, oh my gosh. The we th- I thought it was like liver failure. Yeah. Because my skin and eyes turned yellow. Uh-huh. And it scared the shit out of me. Why is that? I wonder. I think Just she, she the had. The pain? I don't know. She had Googled, you know, yellow eyes and saw, oh, you're going to die. So she was like, great, going to die. I was like, I'm going to die soon. I have like liver failure. It was yeah. fucking gallstones, bitch. <laughs> Those are serious. Though, yeah, I like. know. They are. are. They? they. I think they are. Never yes. had them and haven't done much God, research. God, I, hope, so I, I hope none of y'all get them. Dude, me either. How'd you get, how do you prevent them? Wish we had well, a phone Well, my doctor was, 
Well, not not cool. a good doctor. Really? No. And he told me I got them for being overweight. Well, Pretty damn, much. I should have. I should have. That's what up. I. That I'm like. Not everybody has these from. Right. I don't know. It could be anything. It, who knows? Yeah. Do your own research. Yeah. yeah. Well, I feel like you could ask one or every single doctor line a hundred of them up. Ask them each the same question, and you'll probably get a hundred different answers. Uh, exactly. Ex- oh, exactly. I was watching. Um, oh my gosh, I don't know who it was. I was watching a podcast, and this doctor was on there. I can't remember. I don't know. Okay, don't remember who it was, but pretty much he said that. Um, without exact words, but pretty much that all all doctors in pre med are taught that, uh, and this is what he said allegedly that um they're taught that everything you learn right now 50 percent of it will be debunked in five years 50 hmm. percent of it will be not correct um not right and then everything you learn in five years five years after that 50 percent of it will be debunked so we're all even doctors even scientists we're all just going with the flow here you know like it's like, all a learning process. Like I've said, nobody knows nothing. Nothing. Mm-hmm. You know, so keep that in mind. Even that could be something. Yeah. So, like, dude, things are always changing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then you throw the AI on it, sprinkle a little bit of that. Yeah. Who knows what they're gonna come up with? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are we living in uh, what's it called that uh, the Jim uh, Carrey movie? Are we in the Truman Show? Are we right in the now? Truman Show? Great movie. Mm-hmm. That one was when he stepped it's out good. at the end. Great movie. And a great little segue. I've got a little new segment here we're going to go ahead and uh, do. Um, I am calling it, I guess, just movie quotes. Okay? Okay. Um, so Brett's back there with Beth. Brett, you can absolutely, if you want to chime in, you're, you're not on a mic, but you can yell it out. Um, and I'm just going to do a movie quote, and you guys name that movie. Okay. The I'm ready. fucking music, dude. <laughs> the, the music. I'm trying to spice things up here. I feel like here. I'm at the movies. I'm trying to spice things up here. Um, okay, everybody ready? And Beth, you can play as well. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> You're going to need a bigger boat. The perfect storm. Nope. You're going to need a bigger boat. The fuck? Shit. Going to need a bigger boat. Is it a boat. newer movie or an older movie? Older. Lake Placid? Nope. Um, uh, Night at the Roxbury. No, it's the number one. Titanic? No. no. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean. Car- okay. Caribbean, it's um. Jaws. Oh shit! Fuck. We knew that. Damn, dude. Jaws used to get me in the day. I'm disappointed we didn't get that bath yeah, because I knew that. Jaws almost made me scared to take a bath as a kid. Stop. Okay. Jaws. Ready for the next one? Is this heaven? No, it's Iowa. Do I feel the dreams. Yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> Woo! Nice. I, I, I would wa- have never known. I just watched that. Me too. That's Me crazy. Too. Ready? Keep the change, you filthy animal. Home alone. Oh, shit. Correct. Correct, Maggie. Good. Good Woo! job. Good job. Nice job, Maggie. Ready for the next one? I wish I knew how to quit you. Broke back. Woohoo! Broke, broke back. Broke back. <laughs> Damn. I would have got that, Beth, because I've been saying I wanted to watch Broke Back. Oh, it's so a, bad. It's such a fucking good movie. So okay. good. Ready? Mm-hmm. I'm about to do to you what Lip Biscuit did to the did to music in the late nineties. Deadpool. Good job, Beth. Yeah, good job. Damn, you guys be watching. Okay, ready? Sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. Oh. Hmm. Monday. Good job, Office Brad. Space. Office, Office space. space. Brad yeah. Gotti. Ready? I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. Hmm. God, that could be any that movie. That could be any movie. Damn. Yeah. But it's like... This it's is known. One of, it's one of the biggest movies in the is world. Is it Wolf of Wall Street? No, but you're on the kind of... It's older, but kind of on that genre, I guess. Kind of, but... The Mickey Mantle movie? I'll take it. The Godfather. Uh-huh. Ready? We're all pretty bizarre. Some of us are just better at hiding it, that's all. Uh, oh shit! The uh, Breakfast Club. Oh, I've I been seen recommended that, while, that huh? movie so many times. It's great. I haven't seen it since I was probably in high school. But we should have a movie night and watch it, and then you should eat my ass. That was in the plan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Next one. You're a virgin who can't drive. 
me? <gasps> Clueless. Clueless. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ready for the next one? I have nipples, Greg. Could you milk me? Meet the parents. Meet the parents. Meet Good the job, parents. Brett. Yeah. Next one. Here's the deal. I'm the best there is, plain and simple. I wake up in the morning and I piss excellence. Damn, I know that. Damn it. Damn. Um, Say it again. Here's the deal. Anchorman. No, but... Correct. Talladega? Yes. Talladega. Next one. This one might be one of my favorites. (laughs) And I don't know if I should say it how he says it, because you'll get it right away or not. Yeah. You're the Diet Coke of evil. Just one calorie. Um, Austin. Sorry. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Not evil enough. (laughs) Austin Powers. Say it again. (laughs) You're the Diet Coke of evil. Just one calorie. Not evil enough. Gallery. Spent summers in Ragoon. Austin Powers, right? Austin Powers. Next one. Big mistake. Big. Huge. Oh. Oh. And pretty I, pr- pretty woman. Yes. Yes. And I say that every fucking podcast episode. What? And don't even. <laughs> that the movie. Huge yeah. surprise. Yeah. Or whatever. Ready? We got two more. Mm. Next one. You stink. You smell like beef and cheese. You don't smell like Santa. Elf. Good job, honey. Woo-hoo. I just guessed. And you got it. Got he. Got he. Okay, next one. Last one. According to the map, we're only we've only got four inches. Dumb and dumber. Yes. <laughs> Woo! Nice. Good job, everybody. Yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed that. That, that was, was fun. fun. That I was love fun. that game, but I say I read the quotes next time. I'll okay. learn them because you actually watch movies, so it's more of a game for you sure. to be playing along with because I'm just sitting here like, huh? Hey, listen. We can do... Oh, sorry. You know? <laughs> My bad. You'd be, you guys are all really good at this. Well, you got one, honey. You did good. And listen, we can do whatever we want. It's our podcast. Yeah. Which brings me to, listen, rock fuckers. We are well aware that there have been some technical sound issues. Um, thank, honestly, thank you for the comments and letting us know. Um, you know, ever since we moved into this new studio, we just can't quite get it right. Um, we know the sound is low um, on a lot of these episodes. Mm-hmm. We have bought new equipment. We have had people over to help us. We had a professional sound guy. A sound engineer. A sound engineer come over. He checked everything. We were down here for hours getting everything right, getting everything good to go. He said, it is good to go. Paid the man, left. Next podcast, nobody could hear. So Mm -hmm. we don't have, we don't work with a professional team. We don't work with a network. We are doing this just us off the grid. Because that's how we want to. That's do how it. we want to do it. We don't want to get fucked over by people, which happens and told a lot. What to say? We're already right. Kind of told what to say right. already. So, <laughs> and so we are literally working on it every podcast. So just please stick with us. Um, yeah. What did we say on our very first episode? What did we say? Uh, could we, you remind me on I this said, one? I said we don't know what we're doing. Oh, we, so, yeah, fuck. So no, we'll never know. Come come with us and we'll learn as we go. So I mean, it's all part of a life and moving and changing studios and getting everything back to how you want it. Exactly. So, yeah, thank you. Sorry about your ears if, you know, if we're screaming in some parts and not, yeah. but it will get better someday. Well, maybe. we'll do better is oh, what yeah. we're saying. We will do better. Yeah, we'll absolutely do better. I think we should go into the first call. Let's do it, Maggie. Roll that beautiful bean footage. And then eat oh, my... Oh, yeah? I can also make funny noises. I know I've called twice already, and I sounded completely out of control. But believe me, I'm from Shawnee, Oklahoma. I used to be one of the fastest skaters in this town. And I was also talked about, like, my name is Cheryl in, with an S. So I would really love to talk to you all. Sometime in private, you and Paige and any of your crew. I have some stories for you, Chelsea and Paige and all of you guys that could make. I'm not after money, swear to God. All I want is to talk to y'all in private. I love this show. Aww. Not talking to her in private. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Anyone that says I'm not after money is after money. Well, yeah. What she? Just kidding. I wonder what she wants to say. She, she just wants to talk to us in private. What do you think she'd say if she if we talked to her in private? Hey, you got a couple bucks I can borrow. <laughs> no, she's um, she seems like she's got cool stories. 
Yeah, I think maybe she wants to just be on the pod and tell stories. That'd be great. Maybe that's what she's ultimately reaching for. But she wants it. She wants to talk to us in private to get to get to the public. I guess I don't know. Cheryl from Shawnee, Oklahoma. What a badass bitch. Could you give us a hint? <laughs> Could you call back in and be like, hint? Call you know? back and just give us a hint on what you wanted to talk about in private. There's almost nothing worse, though. Like, not, uh, nothing to do with, uh, Cheryl. 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 This is nothing to do with Cheryl Lynn, but when people DM me and say, Paige, I gotta ask you something. Do you mind if I ask you a question? But then they don't answer the, they don't ask the question, so I can't really get back to them all the time that's one of my biggest pet peeves because I'll, I'll always say yeah honeys what is it and then their message could get lost and i don't know what the question was and i hate that in real life yeah yeah you know i hate this yeah when and it's not even a big deal but like when someone comes up and they're like hey can i ask you a question i'm like yeah. you just did <laughs> <laughs> or hey i have a question for you I'm like, okay, just ask it. Mm-hmm. That, bo- and okay, it don't necessarily bother me all the time, but I have a couple people in my life that I don't see all the time that every, that when I'm around them, they do it all day long. Every time they want to ask a question, they ask if they can ask the question before. And I'm always like, just ask it, honeys. Just ask it. Yeah. So, yeah. I wonder why that is. Like, why do people do that? I wonder. Just, they're to being, the- I guess, polite or... I don't know. Or is it to get, like, your undivided attention? Maybe. I don't know. And I feel like it's a build-up. Like, can I ask you a question? Because it's like, oh, fuck. Then you're like, what? Am I ready for this question? I know. I know. Yeah. Like, okay, Paige, can I ask you a question? Will you eat my ass? Well, that, yes. (laughs) Because I've been wanting to see what it tastes like again. Well, you've, I was about to say, again again Mm -hmm. well i use dude wipes now so it probably tastes better than salt and vinegar chips maybe it will taste minty i don't use the mint i don't like the mint and it's freshly waxed i just got it waxed baby did we talk about that last pod you went and got waxed yeah i think we did maggie got her first uh we did pussy wax did we not i don't know the pods blend to me i forget i know i don't know Maggie got her first pussy wax. We vlogged the experience. Mm-hmm. Um, that's on my Patreon. And little shout out to my Patreon and Pages OF. We post weekly slits only, extra valor podcast for you every Friday. And I post some pube updates and some other things. So you can uh, subscribe by clicking the links in our bios. Yeah. Please do that. Um, Maggie came up to me and she, I don't think she has talked about her waxing on here yet. But she's like, I was, like, pissed. It hurt. Like, it hurt so bad. She's like, I screamed to the top of my lungs. It was, the vlog is hilarious. Yeah. I was screaming. But she was screaming. I said, were you exaggerating? And she's like, no. But the bitch texted us last night. Oh, my pussy's still smooth and and, and soft. Oh, this is awesome. (laughs) And the asshole, like, yep, no hair. Butter it's like butter it's awesome i mean it's worth it yeah yeah but damn when you're in that moment it's hell hypothetically would you go do it again with us i don't know okay well brett needs his balls done again. i would definitely do my asshole yeah it's weird brett's balls don't get ripped to the damn moon but maggie's like vagina hurt so bad and it bruised and it was all bleeding and shit whoa damn Beth well, so there's bleeding. scabs now no not like that like when you rip a hair just like the they called them pinpoint bleeds oh dude okay. i will say this. this i will say this about brett and i, I don't want to blow his head up oh gosh brett put your uh brett cover ear your ears, <laughs> cover your ears. <laughs> i don't want you to hear me talking good about you um <laughs> well, i better not comment um, it brett took that ball wax which is uh, it's on our uh, Patreon and OnlyFans. Brett took that ball wax like a boss, dude. I'm talking didn't flinch. And she had his balls spread and, you know, doing, you know, pull, getting up in there. And Brett was acting as if, I mean, I was mesmerized by how 
He's a ball wax champ. Oh my gosh. Chelsea was having to hold me down. I li- I had was having to hold Maggie's legs open. Get her a straight jacket. So Chelsea could- was holding me down no. and I was like trying to get up off the table. It hurt. I I was not having it. Every time she'd pull a strip, Maggie's legs would go in, and which is not good because there's other wax on there. And I was having to hold her legs open and going, Maggie, stop like stop. And I was screaming. I told the lady, I was like, I'm so sorry. Was the waxer like, ma'am? Ma'am? You good? Or was she just no, like, she, she said normal. Maggie wasn't the worst she's had. But that's, that's, that's kind of yeah. saying she was pretty high yeah. up there and the yeah. worst. And I can't believe Chelsea and Beth laid there. Yeah. Oh, I've didn't seen flinch, them. Didn't scream. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, how the fuck? Y'all tricked me. <laughs> y'all tricked me <laughs> no they for some reason when i went last time i was like oh damn this doesn't seem so bad because they all just were like silent i know it's the weirdest thing and then i get up there and i'm screaming you just got to get through it you know stop being a baby back bitch <laughs> baby back baby back i want my um all right um before we get into the next thing um listen guys next week I will be in Louisville, Kentucky, October 4th. Wabash. I'm totally mispronouncing that. Wabash. Wabash, Indiana, October 5th. Lafayette, Indiana, October 6th. Covington, Kentucky, October 7th. And Columbus, Ohio, October 8th. Going to have a very busy week next week. Tour starts. Get your tickets at eatmytrash.com please do yeah. long times i'll be gone what you're gonna do without me uh get some shit done get my all my things that i needed to get done just done yeah and text you and say how you doing yeah How's just, the crew? Ch- just check up every couple of days and just say how you doing i know you know i don't ever want to <clears throat> like bug you you know because you're doing so much and you know out there on the road but then you'll text me and go what you doing well because you don't post to your stories and it drives me nuts because i don't know what you're doing and i'll say what are you doing post to your story so i know what you're doing <laughs> psycho <laughs> i want to know what you're doing i know so there's that yeah i'll yeah. check up on you though <clears throat> since i know that you thank um, you i appreciate that and uh don't forget the uh cruise tammy's pontoon uh party giveaway ends november 2nd you guys have a little over a month to enter for a free cruise to the Bahamas. No gimmicks, no catches, airfare paid for. You get a free cabin. We'll get to hang out. You'll get a shout out on the viral podcast. First entry is free completely. Um, we have attached a charity to it. So if you want to donate to that charity to get extra entries, 100% of your donation goes to the Second Harvest Food Bank of Middle Tennessee. So help some people out. Enter to come on the cruise with us. You can't lose. And enter. Oh, and enter at. Um, oh, God. Hold on. <laughs> we got. Uh, Fandium.com slash Tammy. Fandium.com slash Tammy. Um, Fandium spelled weird. And I don't know how to spell it. So F-A-N-D-I-U-M. I okay, think. Good job. I don't I, know, though. Well, we don't know. Don't 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 hold her to that. Um, but the link is also in my Instagram bio. So. Yeah. And if you're sitting there thinking, <clears throat> I'm not going to enter. I never win nothing. Well, with that attitude, you won't. And if you don't enter, you can't win. And guess what? I thought like that. This isn't a gaslight. I truly thought like, oh, I never win. And I bought a little raffle ticket at this restaurant. And I freaking won. What'd you win? Out of the whole damn restaurant. Um, I can't even freaking remember what it was. It was like back in San Diego. Dude, a but restaurant? I was like, what the hell? I, I was sitting there going, I never win. Yeah. And then I won. So I quit saying I never win because I've yeah, won once. So you won. just freaking enter. Press enter. A restaurant that gives raffle tickets is a restaurant that I want to be at. Well, the news station, like the oh. radio station showed up there and, you oh, know, okay. it was a whole event. But, oh, okay. you know, so a lot of people entered and I won. How about this? If so I ever it. open a restaurant, if I ever open a restaurant, which I thought about, but I'm not going to do it. The work. If I, I know, if I ever open a restaurant, I'm doing a raffle every hour and the whoever wins gets free meal. Everyone at the sea and gets, gets a to, raffle ticket. And gets to eat my ass. 
<laughs> Dude, you really want somebody to eat your ass. <laughs> fuck. Like, really bad. Oh, my god. Hey, can we do a DM? Because I need to turn my phone off, and I don't want to lose the DM before. Um, Absolutely. What's the DM for today, honey? Oh, we'll tell ya. What's the DM for today, honey? Oh, we'll tell ya. Go ahead, honeys. Okay, this lady said... This is from Robin. Lady, you are so beautiful, but you're so pale. Eat a steak. In all caps, the eat a steak. Eat a steak. Da- does, does what a steak do for your... Uh, what I be- think iron. Well, and the other thing, I really haven't um, been outside so much. Been doing a lot of filming and stuff. I should be getting outside, but also <laughs> the lighting in here does make me look a little... Well, I'll uh, say pale-y. this. I'll say this. You look great to me. Thanks. I'm not going to eat a steak, though. No. you will shit my pants. You'd shit your pants, and that would not be good. Every time I've even got a little bit, a little piece, I've been where Maggie's at. Just that glide. Just gliding. Those shrimps are gliding out. Gliding. Oh, my God. Okay. Now, every time gliders. Glide, yeah. Glider shrimps. <laughs> They're gliders. Gliders. <laughs> Oh, They're gliding out. God. You don't got to push nothing. Those motherfuckers will come out just swimming you, you out. You got to slip and slide on that asshole. You got to slip and slide on that we asshole. We need shrimps with skates. Like, <laughs> that's my cute. God. All right, here's my DM. And it's a two-parter. Okay? And it's from a guy named Lee. So in March, he said, Hey, from New Zealand. Fuck, you just made me laugh my ass off. Okay whole lot of shit on facebook but if my emoji things work i'd send you an okay sign lol big fan from the big boy thunder i was like okay didn't see it at the time i was like oh that's great and then yesterday he sends i'm sick of seeing you on my screen nothing better to do (laughs) question mark (laughs) so that's cool dang so Lee's cool. He went from explaining that he was going to send you an emoji but didn't to damn I sent, like he already did the most. To I'm sick of seeing you on my screen. That's out of control. Well, turn your phone off. I'm not going nowhere. Yeah, she's she be posting. So sorry about you. I see you a lot too on my screen. I'm on there a lot. I'm posting daily. But you're also like two different people. Like you're Chelsea Lynn yeah. and Trailer Trash Tammy, so it's like you ha- you're two accounts yeah so double um i was on tiktok live last night i've been trying to go more live on tiktok but um and i saw a comment that was like "Uh, when are you gonna post to youtube why haven't you been posting and at that time i posted three videos that week i posted two mukbangs on my main channel and one on my vlog channel and that's the thing Peep, the algorithms people ain't seeing it which is frustrating because they're like when are you gonna put out a new mukbang i'm like i just posted two days ago you know so frustrating but yeah i'm i'm posting daily on whether it's facebook tiktok or i'm i'm there and, and i'm not Instagram going Instagram unfollows people too like yes it does my personal friends are unfollowing me because well instagram is so just make sure mm-hmm that you are following. And go turn those bell notifications on. It turned on from I see you too much to go turn on those bell notifications and, <laughs> and so- see us more. Hey, if you're not tired of seeing me on your screen, turn the bell notifications on. Mm-hmm. So. To be the first to know. Exactly. Right, um, dude. Oh, let's do a couple more calls, Maggie. Let's do it. Here we go. Ooh. Hey, honeys. Here's my queen. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, that oh, was yeah. that was ri- that seemed real. <laughs> that sounded like it ripped her walls. That had that was deep. deep. Whoa, <laughs> play, jinx! Play that again. It was deep. Hold on, listen to this queef. Hey, honeys, here's my queef. <laughs> that came oh, from her yeah. fucking stomach. Dude. That was forced. That was up in. She got so much air. That was up in her lungs, and the and the bitch queef that shit out. Oh my, she sucked that air up. That sounded like she's going to bleed after. Dude. That's fucking nasty. That's fucking gross. Golly. I'm lightheaded. I'm lightheaded. I'm lightheaded. I'm lightheaded. Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That No, that sounded like you're going to be sore and there's going to be a little bit of blood whenever you wipe after that. <laughs> but queefs come out easy. Queefs are cool. No, that queef was not cool. <laughs> that queef was deep and hard. I've had ones louder. 
and God. I, and, and and that was a legit queef. Th- this this she can queef. You can hear the walls in that bitch can, <laughs> echoing. Can we please hear it one more time? Uh, let me find it again. Hold if on. you here, can't find here, it, here, here it, it is. <clears throat> Ready? Hey, honeys, here's my queef. <laughs> you have oh, a yeah. ooh, wait. You have a nice. Oh, do yeah. it. Do it again. You have a nice, <laughs> wholesome, sweet sounding girl. Hey, honeys, here's my queef. And then you get that fucking queef out of that pussy. Night and day. Night and day, man. Got the best of both worlds. She's got business business up top, party in the hole. Um, I wonder if she sucked the air in, like did that uh, little backward somersault thing, got that air sucked, or if she just did doggy. Because when I do doggy... It's like, you can just walk and queef after doggy mm-hmm. yeah. for me. So, and like, you, I can press, literally press on my stomach and you'll hear and... To me, that's not a queef though. If you have to have a penis to get the air in there and the, and the, and the air comes out, that's just pussy farts after sex. That's we not a, that's not a scientifically queef. Okay, well... Isn't it the same thing when you do that back bend and suck that air in and but then queef that out? Yeah, you're doing it on your own. That's a queef. If you have the talent to suck up some air and queef it out, but if he's poking in air using his cock, that's... Help. That's help. <laughs> that's sex farts. That's different. Yeah, that's a two-person project. Yeah, that's a two-person project. You know, a queef is solo. Okay. Yeah, queef. Okay. So and you got to get that air just Yes. And I used to be able to queef so good in my younger days and I just can't anymore and I need to do another queefing video vlog on our sub- for our subscribers. We we couldn't post that on. We YouTube. should all do a queef contest. Maybe who can queef the first by sucking in the air. I get think, the loudest. I think we should. A queefometer. We still have to do our uh top tang top tier tang we do contest, gotta get that rolling which we have not forgotten about people will message me every once in a while I'm like when are you gonna do that I know. we will do it we just haven't been able to get everyone together at the same we haven't been able to find a we will do this and we're gonna have a professional judge and we're gonna do whose pussy stinks the worst let's do it when we have to figure it out because we can't be doing it right after my period that's a different kind of funk and we got to sync it up correctly. Yeah, because we're all kind of different on our periods. Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll do it. That's, that's what we're saying. So we haven't forgotten about that. And we love you guys. And thank you for calling in, honey. Top tier tang. Top tier tang, baby. If you don't know what top... Did we say what it was? Did you just explain it all? Kind of. We're doing a contest of who has the stinkiest vag. Who wins? What's the prize? We'll have a. We'll do a prize. It's a surprise. Now it's got to be a really good prize. Mm-hmm. We said that six foot trophy. We're doing a six foot trophy, per, <laughs> like, and we really are. I go to. I will go to a trophy shop and order one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Top tier tang two thousand. Yes. Probably twenty four. Yeah. yeah. And we have had several um, rock fuckers message me, and they're like, "Listen, I will come and be the judge." The sniffer. We were looking for sniffers. We have a good lineup. We I have think, a, but yes. Keep uh sending in submissions and you know we've had a lot of people be like you you guys just need to wear basically wear your underwear for a couple days don't shower and then put the underwear in a mason jar in a glass jar close the lid and then the the whoever sniffs the test won't know who's who's oh, and God. they'll and they'll oh sniff. that's a good idea yeah that way their nose isn't on your pussy right somebody you don't know they won't tell from the <laughs> underwear though well we can we will put something on the outside you can crochet something for the outside of them. All right, let me get to work. Um, <laughs> that made her happy. I know that made her real happy. But the thing is, freaking, dude, we can't be masturbating or anything. Why? Some guy wrote, wrote me in and said, you, you girls can't be masturbating during top tier tang. It, Stop. It, it helps the, um, like, it will make it not as smelly. He said, How did he fucking know that? That's huh. I never heard that. Maybe he has a pussy. I don't know. And but, the fact that he said... You girls can't be. Don't be masturbating. <laughs> it's going to limit the. People are into this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, they are. And they really are. We're going to do it. And I am flying the person. We have a couple people. We, I'm flying the person in. And they have said, Chelsea, I will sniff. Yeah. 
Well, good. We need a sniffer. We need a good sniffer. We want to hear the sniff. And there will be many rules and this will be a whole thing. And I want them to explain what it smells like. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. They need to do a right. Like, we need to number these and then they need to have the little sticky notes by each one, the sniffers, and then put it in the box, read, It'll be so professional. It'll be so, it'll be done so well. And the sniffers can't communicate. And I'm going to be honest with you. This is not something that I want to put on YouTube. No. Because I don't want someone who doesn't follow us or know to come across this. And be, like, this needs to be for, like, I will literally put it, well, we'll talk about that later. But this this needs to be, like, just for us, you guys. So, yeah. Just saying. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> next call. <laughs> just Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo Commercials. Our next partner has a product I literally use just about every day. I started taking AG1 because honestly, I was sick and tired of of having to deal with a bottle here, a bottle there, a bottle of this, a bottle of that, and having to take a big bag full of all my vitamins, honestly, got on my nerves. Boom. Boom everything in one baby. I don't, I don't take a big bag full of bunch of vitamins anymore. I just have one thing. Athletic greens, baby. Malt licky. So what is this stuff? You may be asking with one delicious scoop of AG1, you're absorbing 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food sourced ingredients, probiotics to help you start your day right. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, and aging. You guys, everything all in one, baby. Athletic Greens has over 7,000 five-star reviews. It costs you less than $3 a day. You're investing in your health, and it's cheaper than your cold brew habit. It's lifestyle friendly, okay, whether you eat keto, paleo, vegan, dairy-free, or gluten-free. It also contains less than one gram of sugar. No GMOs, no nasty chemicals, or artificial anything, while still tasting good. Your subscription comes with a one-year supply of vitamin D which is so important to add to these winter months when you don't get as much sunlight. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop in a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash viral. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash viral to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Hi, honey, it's me here. Um, I had a kind of a story. So on Mother's Day, um, my husband and I took his mom out to lunch, and um, she caused kind of a big scene that caused our relationship to be no longer. And basically what happened was is first when we got there, she told me I'm not her daughter, which I kind of brushed off, and I was like, okay, whatever. Then, when she got to the restaurant, she, in front of the waiter, she asked, why did you bring her there, here, like I was nothing? And then, she basically caused a big scene, saying that I shouldn't have been there, and it was all about her, and I was making it all about me when I wasn't. And I started crying, and... um. She said she got mad because I was crying because it upset me and it still upsets me to this day and it kind of caused a my husband and her to not talk anymore. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of rant that out and I love you, honey. Bye. Love you. Honeys, love you. 
your mother-in-law sounds like a bitch. Yeah, she needs to chill. So let me get this straight. You and your husband went out for a Mother's Day lunch with your mother-in-law. And your mother-in-law was pissed that you were there. She needed time with her son on Mother's Day. She said that they just, uh, they both took her to lunch. I think that's so rude because how many like whole families go out for Mother's Day? Like a whole family, a whole, like you are, you are her daughter-in-law. To just say you're not my daughter, that's the most childish thing. And like, it's almost like she's jealous of your relationship with her son that's there was some there was some build up there for sure she she doesn't i don't know if she doesn't like you if well i don't know if everything was fine before this and that there's just a blow up oh god i'd be so fucking mad i'd be if i was mm, if your husband is not mad at his mom mm-hmm. oh she said he was that they okay they don't talk yeah, they that don't talk. good they don't talk anymore which is good that he yes. took her side and took up for her because that's absolutely it. ridiculous Oh, I'd be, yeah. Um, Who knows what the, yeah, the pre-beef though, like. Was, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And if there wasn't. Like, did it, you do something previously that makes her say you're not my, like, what could be that bad? Though? Do, and, and even if there was, let's go about it differently. Yeah, not at fucking breakfast. You not know? At, not at the. Waffle house. I wanted uh, Mother's Day brunch with my son. Fuck you, bitch. Just a person saying that, though, you can kind of tell what person they yeah. are. Yeah. Not the type her, I want to be around. That's her son's wife. That's your daughter-in-law. That's like, I see nothing wrong with both with her joining on a Mother's Day brunch. Me either. I see nothing. Could have brought everyone. Gosh, dude. And maybe that's, she's a mom too. Damn. That's horrible. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, that'd be a big problem for me. Imagine having a mother-in-law like that. Mm-mm. That you have to actually, like, be... You have to continue your life. Well, not really, but if you have kids and shit, that would be a really hard situation. As Dr. Phil would call it, monster-in-law. Monster-in-law? Mm-hmm. The mon... Yeah. Those were, all, those were always my favorite episodes. The monster-in-law, because the... The the mother-in-law was it would so invasive so and it, and it does stem from most of the time a jealousy oh you took my son you took my do-, you know like it was a lot of mothers with sons you know like just i wonder what they're trying to get out of it though like the attention of their son or like what what is it it's kind of a weird one for me i don't know it's just hard it's hard to let them I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe like a possessive thing. Like I've took care of you mm-hmm. your whole 18 years. Mm-hmm. Now you're gone. And this new girl is like taking care of you or doing whatever, you know, maybe Absolutely. it's that. Absolutely. But it can be for anybody, not just a boy. Like right. girl, family members can be really possessive over their siblings. And, you know, silver lining here that your husband's was on your side and saw how ridiculous it is. Can you imagine if he was like, well, babe, you shouldn't have came. Oh, <laughs> oh, I would have fucking bounced. Okay, won't be there when I get home. That, 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 I would be livid. So that's good that he recognizes, hey, uh, mom is being a little crazy. That's ridiculous. This is not, you know. Moms need to get called out from... It's, crazy moms it sucks though like yeah if the, if the kid doesn't like ever speak up even though it's like this is my little fight mm-hmm. but fuck just stick up for your partner that's exactly. what you're in it for exactly and there's so many guys out there and, and women not sticking up for their partner taking the family side yeah i know let's just do better i'm not like that i see if you're in the right or the wrong whether you're my sibling or not like i'm just gonna tell the truth exactly sorry about you you're right and that brings me this is totally off subject here totally off subject but did you see where the um me and greg were talking about this yesterday where um alec Murdoch stop no. <laughs> alec Murdoch. which by Dude, the way i wanted to go to the state sale which by the way uh greg watched the the Murdoch murders on netflix for the first time i watched it with him and halfway through he goes why does he call himself alec when it's spelled Alex and I go because he's a dumb fucking idiot because he's a con artist because <laughs> he's a con you know 
Um, so Alec Murdoch is getting a new trial. Is that real? Remember I told you. Yes, mm-hmm. but is that like yes, happening? It yeah. is happening. That is wild. Um, we were saying that we were seeing that his son did an interview. Mm-hmm. Paul. His, his first like interview where he thinks his dad is um, innocent, I guess, whatever. And me and Greg were talking like, how could you see the evidence that's right there? And this, and I'm not just talking about these two people in general. This happens a lot. If you watch a lot of true crime, oh yeah. If you watch yeah. a lot of Dateline, a lot of, a lot of you know, siblings, kids like of murderers will just they cannot see that they have done this. They're just in denial almost. Because Greg, we were watching it, and Greg goes, "How is his son still like calling him in jail? Like I would be, you know, I would be not talking to him." And it's like, if you think that person can do no wrong and you, I go, imagine Greg, if you know, your dad does something crazy to your mom, are you going to believe it? Or are you just never going to talk to him again? They're, you're so brainwashed yeah. by thinking this, these people could never do wrong. Mm-hmm. It's insane. It's wild. Like, dude, if Maggie uh, you violently murdered someone yeah, and I saw the evidence, I'm not going to say she didn't do it. <laughs> right. She, wrong gal. She would never do that. It's no, like I'm gonna be when like when you see it, yeah. It's just like you you think that you know you you think you would, but if you I don't know, it's it's a weird weird thing. Thank Dude. God, and hopefully we'll never know, you know. But but can you imagine going through something like that with a close family member? No, even the whole Casey Anthony try or case like doesn't the dad like he's like she freaking did it, but the mom is like no doesn't think she did do it so i think it's it, like i at, think it at first it was like that yeah okay. at first they were both like very you know had blinders on for sure when you're in the middle of the tornado it's hard to see things mm-hmm. in general mm-hmm. let's put murder on top of it let's put loss on top of that let's put tron you know like everything th- relationship then everything then you're definitely not gonna see what's going on mm-hmm. just a weird Thing. Greg couldn't believe. He's like, why is he talking to his dad in prison? I would never talk to my dad again. I'm like, you never know, though. You you never know how you're going to, you know. Going to feel or believe, who to believe. God, what your brain's going through? Fuck. Dude. Wow. So why is he getting a new trial? Something happened with a juror. What is um, it? The public, def- not the public defender, the... Uh, prosecutor? The prosecutor did something... And said something about the case to one of the jury members. And so now the whole case is getting thrown. And he's getting a new trial. Like what? In the hallway or something? I don't know how or exactly what was said or... or was it over social media or like... I'm wanting to... Th- I'm thinking maybe she showed him a picture. She did something she was not supposed to do. That's... Like why would you... Yeah. Why would you do that? All right. these cases have been just interesting lately like just the whole system's flawed and how do we have proof of that is there proof um i don't know i need to look at there's got to be there's got to be proof but here's the thing it's all the same evidence it's all the same everything it's going to be the same trial does he think he's going to get off of it a second time well probably it's been done i know um you you say that it's all the same but it'll they'll throw in other stuff they'll be they'll be they'll twist things they'll it'll be it'll be it'll be the same trial but it'll be different and now that they know what's coming and they've had experience that's what i'm saying they're gonna twist now that they know how you know they know how to defend what they're gonna bring Mm -hmm. not good (laughs) damn what if he gets out oh alec murdoch well and two it's just like who you know i mean he's high up in that i mean Right. He's high up. Didn't they know those people? So didn't they do the trial in a different state because of that? Yeah, I think so. I think I think it's in a I different. I think they state. had Dude, to. They're all affiliated. Come on yeah. now. But who to knows? To get a retrial this quick too? Yeah. Well, when is the retrial? We don't it know. probably won't be for a year. Yeah. At least. Wild. Dude. Wild. I gotta look into. I gotta see what exactly happened. Yeah, I, I just it. saw a small clip, and I was like, damn. Yeah, I, we're a little late on this. This has been like weeks ago, but still. I just, Greg just watched the documentary and we were just getting into it. 
to just kill your wife and freaking and then that housekeeper that worked for you for like 20 years bonked her head somehow and then he tried to stage it dude you know damn well he killed her ass oh yeah she just, didn't fall down the damn stairs. Come on. Wild. He took a he took a insur- a life insurance policy on her a month before she passed away. Did Nothing he give wrong it to there. her family. Doesn't seem suspicious. God, don't get me started. That family's so fucked up. And how can people just take out life insurance on random people? I don't get that shit. That is the most weird. <laughs> I guess insurance places will just take whatever whatever money people want to give them. I don't know. Insurance is one of the best places to be in, the, you know. Oh, absolutely. Oh. Taking out insurance policies on whoever is getting close. Yeah, I did. Then they get Wild. in a car accident and then this happens right. and that. It's like, that's what I think uh, should change in this world is like, Anybody who dies, everyone should just do more investigating, always. Yeah. So if I ever die, please just do more investigating or any of us. I'll investigate. Thanks. You're welcome. Because there's always something a little, a little off. Like, don't even want to say it, but the Kobe Bryant stuff. Come oh, on Oh, I didn't even hear, I didn't even know about that. Oh, yeah. Really? There's yeah, but just, stuff do, there? just okay. do your own research. It just was like a lot of money, you know, oh. right before and just, okay. yeah. Damn. Dive into that one. Yeah. We love diving into shit that, you know, who knows what's going on. Yeah. You know what I'm ready for? <clears throat> I'm ready to sing the trivia game. Oh, I couldn't intro. wait. Yes, let's do that. Let's do it. Get trivia. Get trivia. Uh, get Trivi, get trivia. Ha, oh, fuck me. Uh, get trivi, get trivi, y'all. Ooh. Get that big wheel over here. Man, we're having a great time with this thing. We are having a wonderful time with this. Is everyone ready? To oh, spin? grab grab your buzzers. Oh, Buzz Aldrin. Yep, mine works. <clears throat> Did you ever watch Toy Story? I mean, when it first came out, I haven't watched it recently. Why? I was just wondering. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> Isn't that like 20 years old, something like that, 30? So. Yeah. People still love watching yeah, kid, it's, kid it's movies, huh? One of the biggest, one of the biggest cartoon movies ever. Mm-hmm. And I love, what's his name? Woody. But what's the guy's name? What guy? The actor. The actor. Tim oh, in Allen. real life? No, not Tim Allen. Um... <sighs> Tim. The guy that plays Buzz. Forrest Gump. What's his name? Tom Hanks. <laughs> mm. He's probably my favorite actor. Mm-hmm. He's so good. Tom Hanks can do no wrong. I bet he is such a fucking cool dude. And I bet he will eat your pussy to completion. You know he will. I don't know about him. You don't know about him? Not for me. He, mm, nah. You don't think he's a cool dude? A good actor? Dude, we have a different algorithms Hold on. We're she not... likes Justin's Bieber. You like so. Justin's Bieber. Okay, go ahead and spin. We got different algorithms. Okay. You got to look up that name too. As long as Kobe Bryant. Spinning. Previously asked questions, Green. Previously asked questions. All right. What is the name of Adam Sandler's production company? Happy Madison. That is correct. Ooh. Hey, I actually would have known that. Did you start spin? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, get back. Sorry, it was rare for me to spin first. So I got go. thrown off. Spelling, green oh, spelling. Shit, Not dude. good at this. Maggie, you chime in if you need to. Oh, she's even worse than us. It's Spell bad. the word dilemma. Oh, frick. Is it one L or two? D I. L. Oh, who's barking? Kevin. Dilemma. Kevin's fuck, dude. D I L. Fuck, is it one or two? I wish I had a pen and a paper to write. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. D I L E M M A. That is correct. Ooh. Sorry, sometimes I need time to think. Good job. Thank you. One and one. Your turn. Spelling's hard. Very hard. I get scared. 
Reality TV Blue. Reality TV Blue. Blue. All righty. Which spinoff of The Real Housewives Beverly Hills is ruled by Lisa and her sexy, unique restaurant? Vanderpump Rules. Correct. I've never seen an episode of it. Vanderpump. I've never watched it. What is that? But, okay, ready? Yeah. Here we go. Reality TV Blue. Reality TV Blue. Ooh, this question comes as a form of a bonus. Here we go. You'd get told goodbye by the host if you were the lowest performer on your team when it comes to answering these trivia questions on which game show? As a bonus, name the current host. The Wiggles Link. Correct. I love game shows. Me too. I even knew You that. are the weakest link. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. 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 Who yes. is the current host for the bo- bonus point? It's that actress that plays on Glee. Can I try? Yeah. Yeah. Her name is Mer... 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 Fuck, dude. Merang. No, Mer... Merang. Oh. You okay? That's... That is Isn't her it name. Joan? No, it starts with an M. It's Mer... It's Merang. Something like that. Lemon meringue pie. Lemon meringue. Clo- Joan. It's close. Starts with a J. Jane. 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 Jane Lynch. Jane Lynch. You were thinking of lemon meringue pie. No, I was thinking of that chick um, who hosts Jeopardy now. Oh, the one from Big Bang Theory. Yeah, uh, wasn't was she? All, she was on Glee. No, I don't know. Mayim Balak. Mayim Balak. Yeah. We think we saw her walking down the road in L.A. Really. Mm-hmm. You bet you saw her, didn't yep. you? Yep, 100% was her. We were staying at an Airbnb, and she was like, what, just a block or two, and she yeah. was walking? I Looked like I she was walking with her parents. Me. Yeah. So. Such a random person to see. We were in uh, L.A. filming Tammy Bangs, which, by the way, great little segue. <laughs> um, Dude, you love segues. I have, li- I need to get one and ride on them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tammy Bangs has launched on my Patreon. Tammy Bangs season three um everyone's in it Paige is in it brett's in it maggie's in it Beth's in it um you do see uh tits and ass and uh so it's just a little comedy tv show um it's professionally filmed we have a whole camera crew uh sound it's professionally filmed and edited it's a little tv show where trailer trash tammy basically runs a corn but with a p corn company and um they're all my staff and we do a little tv show skit thing and it's fun and it's on my uh patreon every uh episodes drop every monday season one and season two are already on there so there's over 35 episodes so go have some fun on there yeah buddy okay do that who's spinning i guess i'll just go go ahead um Gosh, I forgot what I was going to say about Tammy Bangs. Tammy. Oh, you need a segue to ride around in Tammy Bangs Dude. from office to office. Like your hair just zipping back. You have to. I'll need to make. I'll need to write an episode where Tammy gets a segue. Yeah, write that down. Okay, done. It's another reality. Oh. Do you want to go ahead and spin again, or you want to do it? Oh, let's just try it. Okay, let's do it. Reality TV Blue. Alrighty. What is Honey Boo Boo's full name? Uh, Sunny the boo. Alicia. No, I'm wrong. What is it? I, I Don't be it, looking. It's uh. Oh my God, I know it too, and I know it. I got mistaken for Honey Boo Boo once. Do y'all remember that? I was with you at the trailer park, and this, they all came out of the trailers and said Honey Boo Boo. No, this was legit. This guy came running out of his trailer and was like, Oh my God. Angel banjo yeah I, it's goes, on my youtube video goes, oh my god oh my god i'm a big fan like freaking out mike thanks he was like honey boo boo right and he, was, he was dead serious and honey i go and i go boo. yeah he goes i thought that was you i thought that was you <laughs> she's like wait is so honey much boo boo younger the daughter than you? or the mom the daughter who's the mom june june okay she follows me they all follow me isn't that great what is her name beth alana there you go alana thompson yes ma'am <gasps> Nice. Just a little bit of talking. I had to talk about her and get my juices mm-hmm. flowing. Maybe her saying her mom's name mm-hmm. brought it up. Yeah. June and Alana. Alana. Yeah. Alana's my sister's name. Yeah. So. And then Pumpkin's the other sister. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. I the have, youngest or what? 
No, she's older. She's older. Older. I have not watched that sh- uh, their show since. You do know, they have a new days. show or no? They do. I think I have just haven't watched it. Need to need to get huh. on there. Huh. All right, ready? Let's let's do some more spins. Pumpkin. Here we go. <laughs> Pumpkin. Here we go. True or false? Here we go. True or false? Maggie's star sign is Aries. False. That is correct. Correct. I don't know what it is, but I know it's not Aries. I would say Aquarius. Yeah, Aquarius. Yeah. Aquarius. Okay. Oh, Aquarius. sorry, Paige. I. No, you're good. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. I was just gonna guess. Anywho. Okay. Let's, here I go. Yeah. Here we go. Last one. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. History purple. All right. Sorry, guys. Purple. Where did America's first subway system open? And as a bonus, what year? I'm going to say New York, but I think it's a trick question. That's what I was going to say, but then I was thinking the same. It's not a trick question. Okay, it's New York? It's not New York. You're in the right area of the country. Boston? Though. Correct. Nice. In 19... <clears throat> Got to think logically here. In 19... Oh, 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 19... Oh, 36? I'm going to guess. That is incorrect. I'm going to say it was... It's higher. Lower. It's I'm going to say it was 19... Um, 22? Uh, 19, 19... Oh. Who's Lower. fucking me? 1915, I'm fucking Lower. you. Somebody's back there and they're fucking me. Me, look. Who? Uh, it's who? me, 1912. What's your name? Uh, Damien. Oh my god, your cock is so big, uh, Damien. It's hurting pussy. my tight little pussy. Let me uh, in there. Let me in there. Uh, oh, you're so good. Mm. I'm gonna come. Mm. I'm coming in you. Mm. Did you come? <laughs> uh, what year do you think it was? 1911. 19... Lower. What? 1901? 1897 in Boston. And it was a mile and a half long. Uh, for a sub? Or for, a... The, for the first subway. We're not talking about... Um, subway we're not sandwiches. Talking about su- we're not talking about like Jared subway. <laughs> we're talking about a railroad. Correct. That's wild. Okay, I guess they had more shit going on back then than I thought. Yep. <laughs> that was like, what, the first form of transportation? That, or what? Horses. Well, come on. No. I think it was the railroad. Yeah, yeah. something like and that. Then, like the Underground Railroad. Good job, Maggie. Yeah. Is that to do with the subway? That was a smart answer. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's... I feel like it's obvious, though. The railroad. Yeah, That's the right. only one I've ever heard is that, like the Underground Railroad, but railroad the subway, was, don't know. That was popping back in the day. Railroad was before cars. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that was... People should jump on railroads and hitch rides. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Have those fancy carts. I've always wanted to ride in one of those. (gasps) I know. Like with the red carpets and shit. Maggie, me too. And there's one in Colorado. We gotta go. Like that's... That's like always been a dream of mine. And you can take it. And I follow these people on TikTok that take it. And they have like... It looks old and real nice. And they serve you food. And it has big windows. And you can see the I want that. Let's go do it. I want to do it so bad. Let's Me too. get dressed up fancy. fancy <gasps> in those old hell. dresses and yeah. The wigs. That would be fun. Let's go. I'm serious. For real. Yeah. Colorado's the only place. No, there's more. Um, but Colorado is just, I know there's one in Colorado. Um, I don't for, want a 30 minute ride though. Like I want to be on it for a while. I want to stay the night on it. I know. Possible. I think this one's ours. Brett said his grandpa used to take him on these um, railroad trips, and he said, oh, yeah, I would just, like, sneak off from my grandpa, and I would always have the urge to bust a nut <laughs> Wait. on the train. What? Yeah, like, the train, I guess, the bounce made him just horny. He rubbed your balls? I used to masturbate a lot. He in the Brett, bathroom Brett said he used to masturbate a lot he said he was like 12 though and he's like yeah i just like i had to sneak off from my grandpa a lot i was like hmm. did your grandpa know what you were doing oh no 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 he didn't did you later tell him hey Again. hey remember when we were on trains i'd leave here's I, what i was doing you never told him that no nah, i probably wouldn't tell him he knew or wouldn't have he yeah. knew he probably knew probably yeah 
He was probably doing it too. Though. Yeah, that's what I was when you were going. He's like, the kid's <laughs> gone. I'm gonna go jack, jack exactly. one up. Exactly. <laughs> Oh He's my in God. the other bathroom. Oh, um, God. I would like to read a little something from um, a diehard, amazing angel of a rock fucker, Nicole uh, Weber. Um, she wrote a rock fucker poem. No. And this is real. She sent it to me. And this is for all the rock fuckers out there and everyone listening. This is for you from Nicole. Okay. <clears throat> Rock fuckers were born from viral pot. Sorry, let me restart. Damn. Rock fuckers were born from viral episode three, but only real rock fuckers know was it Paige or Chelsea? Rock fucker history started that October day. But if you don't like the name, just let me say Rock fuckers rock and rock fuckers roll. Some rock fucker. Fuckers fuck rocks. Most rock fuckers fuck holes. <laughs> Some rock fuckers are cucks. Some rock fuckers love feet. But that doesn't mean you can't make love to a street. Being a rock fucker is more than just a name. Rock fucker is a title that should not be a shame. Rock fucker is in fact an honor we all have been bestowed. This does not fucking mean you fucked a dirt road. No matter if you like it freaky, no matter if you dock, rock fuckers fucking fuck rocks and rock fuckers fucking rock. Wow, that was really fucking good. That was awesome, dude. That was that was really good send me that Nicole, you rock we should (laughs) you rock that was not meant to happen um we should post that on the fucking very sentimental um very i mean the talent in the writing (laughs) the structure the yeah the rock formation the yeah she knows a good oku okay so it was episode three informative cool thanks nicole that's great that probably took some time dude writing poems holy shit Mm -hmm. Mm mm-hmm so how do you say it what the p word poem poem what do you say poem i don't know really how to say that one some people say poem poem there's an e in there so i don't say say poem poem if you're one of those people (laughs) don't do it that's me poem poem Poem. um rock fucker of the week this week is oh mandy 6975 oh mandy Congratulations, honeys. Um, you have won a uh, free viral podcast t-shirt. Uh, Maggie's going to get your information. And uh, just send her your address. And we'll get you taken care of. For everyone else, we've got a bunch of uh, end of the year Christmas drops um, coming. Came. Who knows where mm-hmm. they are. Go to the viral pod. Is it the viral or just viral? The viral co. Another thing, though, for the... Uh, for Maggie reaching out, she reaches out on the viral podcast Instagram. Yeah. So be looking out for and, that. And listen, sometimes, especially when I'm on tour, we pre record these episodes because uh, I'm gone. So sometimes you may not hear uh, that your Rock Fugger of the Week that Tuesday. Uh, yours may be coming up a couple weeks from now. If it comes from our viral podcast instagram it is legit we've had a lot of people say uh is this real i didn't hear myself i think this is a scam it's not it's maggie just trying to send you a free t-shirt so just just let her know your size and address and we'll get you a free t-shirt thank you for interacting with us yeah wait are we done here no oh shit i don't even know what's going on no i think we have a few more calls don't we yeah let's finish off the calls baby let's hit it hey guys anna here how's it going Good. I was just wondering, you know how there's horse girls and dolphin girls and frog girls and whatever the fuck else girls? What were y'all growing up? I'm just curious. You know? I just want to fucking know. By the way, I've been to two of you guys' shows out in Mount Vernon and Nashville, Tennessee. Fucking love you guys. Hope that y'all have a great fucking day when y'all are listening to this. See ya. Bye. Oh, oh yeah. yeah thanks Love for calling you. and thank you for coming to the shows appreciate that the support is unmatched 
Um, she said dolphin girls? She said that there's, you know, growing up, there's all sorts of, you know, things that kids, I guess, like. Like, you're either, you like the horses, you like the frogs, oh, you like dolphins. Oh. You know, there's always something you like. I was really big into gorillas. Do you remember this, Maggie? Mm-hmm. And I wanted to be a zoologist and study gorillas. What age? 11, 12, 13. And I would ride my bike up to the um, county library. Listen to Kevin. It's, Spark- he's trying. On the county library. I had my library card and I would Google just anything and everything about gorillas that I could find. What'd you find? Just nothing, really. Yeah, I think you would just sit there and look at pictures of them. Pretty much. You just I, found gorilla glue? I'd read a little bit here and there, but I just thought I was so interested in gorillas. And still to this day, when there's like a gorilla documentary, I just I just love, I just think it's they're interesting. They have thumbs. So that's probably why. Yeah. You know? And um, what else about them? We should all say another one fact. What do you, you think about Harambe? Harambe. I really don't know much about that. I know that that was a big thing, but what is it? They killed a gorilla? I guess a kid <coughs> fell in or something. Oh. Or, was that right? In a zoo. And it saved the kid? No, the oh, no. Not, not that. Oh. That didn't happen. They, I guess uh, the kid fell in, supposedly. Who knows? Hmm. And they shot the gorilla to that's right because the kid fell in and people were like, well, watch your kids better. And then you had the people, you know, that, well, a human deserves to live that's right i forgot about that Um, lots of controversy around that gorilla um a gorilla fact that i do remember is like when they have a baby the baby like stays on their like backs for like a long time like months the baby is like attached yeah the baby is like attached for a long time that's adorable there is a netflix documentary about gorillas did you see or no apes did you see this how long ago it's been it's it came out maybe mu- like chimps. Oh, chimp empire. okay yeah chimp empire, chimp empire. Yeah. insane go fucking watch it they the 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 videography on this they said that they went out and lived these men and women lived out in the jungle for months studying these chimp that and they say none of it's ai none of it's uh you know green screen nothing this is like real and the i mean it is it doesn't look real. I saw glimpses of it because Brett was watching it and I'd like fall asleep. But I'm, it looked so insane that I thought it was like fake. And Brett goes, no, this is real. I, I don't get how they got the cameras there or kept the cameras there. And like, why are these gorillas not messing with the cameras? I, know. I don't know, but I want to watch it again. That's how good it was. Crazy. They must have those like million dollar cameras that can just zoom because it looks like they're running just oh oh it's insane it's insane they better win some oscars or something for i mean wild yeah one of the coolest documentaries i've ever seen forever ever yeah maggie any gorilla facts or what what animals were you into growing up remember i had all those little dolphin things you were a dolphin girl dolphin. Yep. we found our we found our dg we found our dolphin girl. remember the dolphin like the little glass oh, figurines yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's obsessed my with those my yeah. niece is obsessed with those dude great and i was thinking damn that's kind of something weird to be obsessed with yeah know. it was just really popular at the yeah. time i think and yeah, all over Walmart was oh, dolphin yeah, figurines. Oh yeah, the dolphin. I had a dolphin poster and Beth, what about you? I Man, I can't think of anything that I'll you know, I was thinking Lisa Frank, but that's not really like That's a good one. Well, we couldn't afford Lisa Frank, but the on the rare occasion we got a a, a folder and you can dream. Room. You can dream. Yeah, you can dream. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I wasn't a horse or a dolphin girl. Yeah. Yeah. I went for the horses there for a minute, definitely. And then Brad stalls were huge when I was growing up. So I was probably in college when those motherfuckers came out. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. That, that was like before. Oh, dude, I was setting up their homes while you were out in college. Wow. Um, I was in my room playing with brats. And then uh, I went through <laughs> so many different phases, I feel like. Like a Barbie phase, a Cabbage Patch doll phase. A fr- There's so many things. Yeah good times but yeah I no, will, no I, frog girl for me well i will say this i was like in between boy bands too like when i was i think i was maybe 
12, probably 11, 12 when like NSYNC and Backstreet Boys came out. And I was never obsessed. Like usually when you're a a young girl, you're obsessed with either New Kids on the Block, One Direction. There's always like, you know, even Justin's Beaver, like you're obsessed with some boy or boy band. And I just never was. Me either. I guess Britney Spears there for a second. I had a little, because I got a Britney Spears backpack for Christmas. I wanted everything Britney Spears. Same. There for a minute. Yeah. Britney got me. Yeah, she got me too. <laughs> she got she me still, too. She still has me. Yeah. Um, But yeah, dude, it's weird all the phases. Huh? I know. Good times. All right. We got one more call. One more call. Ooh, let's do it. Let's knock it off, right? Oh. Oh, sorry about that, right? Yeah, let's knock it <laughs> off. Here we go, right? Hey, Chelsea and Paige. Uh, we just listened to your podcast and a lady called in with a male known. Wasn't much of a male known, but I got one for you. Ready, babe? All right, we love you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was funny. She that said, hey, babe, <laughs> we got to call in, and I want you to do this. <laughs> Don't hey, babe, moan. there's this podcast I listen to. Please don't ask questions. Will you just moan like we're fucking? And he's like, huh? Just please, I'm going to call in. Just start setting them up. Just start fucking your dude and um, <laughs> recording, recording it. it. I loved it. That was great. The first note of the moan turned me on, and then it was a little performative. But I give that 7 out of 10. I would, yeah, I would give it a... Oh, uh, gosh. I would give it a six. He threw a little bit of Patrick Starfish in there. Okay. Sounding halfway through. Which, the seven's great. I could nut to that. It w- is great. Absolutely. Um, I could probably nut all the way down to a, to a one. Same. I could br- really nut to anything. <laughs> but, 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 yeah. Okay. Thank you for joining us on today's installment. Dude, um, for real. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. Please be sure to check out everything we're telling you to check out. And we'll have more podcasts coming. And what else? Just call in if you have some questions. If you just want to tell us something crazy. If some you want to wo- vent. If you want to. Well, some would you rathers. I love those. Yeah. Would you rather Some fuck Mary kills. Some. Um, just whatever you want to tell us. Honestly. We're just a seven numbers away and a click. And Yeah. And what is that number? And guess what our freaking number is. It is 442-777-3331. And always remember that you are doing great. You are looking good. And And fuck what everybody everybody else thinks. thinks. Get ready. We're going viral. Get ready. We're going viral. Me too. Bad. Bad. Woo! That was a good one. Gonna pee bad. Gonna pee my pants. I might go pee outside.